Hi, this is Dean at Sentinel Candles. In today's project, I'm not going to be doing soap and I'm not going to be doing candles. What I'm going to be making is a silicon mold. I have two nieces and I would really like to make them some soap with their name in it. And I was thinking about how I could go about doing this and the easiest way to do it is to get a template of letters in a silicon and, uh, and just pour into it and pop them out and, and away you go. But I wanted a specific type of font. So the place next door to where my shop is has these tiny little letters in wood and they use them for card making. They're big enough to be seen in soap, which is great. I'm not sure how they're gonna come out. Anyway, I've taken two of them and I've stuck them together. So I've glued two letters together of each one so it makes them thicker and therefore it will hold better in my mold. For this particular test, and it is a test too, I have not done anything this small before. I've done a bar of soap size, but nothing this small. So I've got a tea light box here that I've just cut the top off. So normally it's like that, and I've just cut around and pulled that um, bit off. And I've also taped up right around the sides of all the creases that could possibly all the silicon could come out. So all that's been taped up. I'm now gonna take my letters and I'm gonna glue them to the bottom of this um, using just normal craft glue. And then I'm gonna make up my silicon and put my catalyst in it, which will make it go hard or to a silicon um, state. And then I'm gonna pour it in over the top of the letters. I'm gonna let that set for 24 hours and then I'll be able to take the wood letters out and pour my soap into those letters. Then when they set, then I can take them out. And I'll show you that after I've finished uh, the end result. So watch at the end of this video and you'll see the, the final product. So I've got all the letters to make Elsie and Iris. And they're both gonna get probably two bars, maybe three bars each. So for this project, I'm also gonna need gloves because silicon is very, very messy. From my last test that I did, I had silicon literally all over the table. So I put down some baking paper on top of this cardboard and this cardboard is actually lined with sticky tape. So it's very easy to clean where the metal table underneath this is very hard to get the silicon off. And when I'm finished, I should be able to just rip this up and throw it in the bin and no cleaning is required. Think ahead if you're gonna do this, think about how you're gonna clean it up afterwards. Let's get started. Okay, so now I've glued all my letters down inside this tiny little box and I'm just gonna wait for them to set. And once they're set, then I'll start making the silicon and we'll pour it in. Okay, so now that our letters are stuck down, I'm gonna start making the silicon. The silicon that I buy is silicon rubber and I got it off eBay. I'll put a link on the description below where you can get some. I think it was around about $45 for a kilogram. So in this test, because we're only needing to go up to the letters, uh, probably only need about 100 grams of this. I don't think we'll need any more. And if we do, we can always make some up. So I'm just gonna tip it into this cup. Uh, and the reason is because I can throw the cup away. Never pour into something that you wanna keep because it's, like I said before, it's way too messy. Towels are also very handy and lots of tissues just to get rid of the mess after you've done. Okay, so now we've got our 100 grams here. We need to add the catalyst. And this is 3%, and this is what makes the silicon so it goes through a hard rubbery state. So because it's 100 grams, we're gonna need three mils of this. And I'm just gonna put three mils in there. This is blue, but you can get it in yellow and red and all sorts of other colors. I like blue. Change the uh, silicon to a blue. So from here, we just really thoroughly stir this in until there's no white left, it's like a blue color, right the way right through. But just keep stirring. So I'm just gonna keep stirring for a couple of minutes and I'll come back. Also make sure you get it off all the edges anytime you do this. Another couple of hints when you're doing this too, make sure you're not gonna get interrupted.
Okay, so I've been stirring for a couple of minutes now and it's all gone blue, it's nice and blue. There's no white left in there at all, along the sides or the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do is, I've got this little, con the top of the container of one of the boxes that I use, and I'm just gonna put this inside it. Now the reason is because once I've poured my silicon, I don't wanna have to try and have a balancing act with that. So if I can just move it onto this container, um, and then I can move the container around wherever I want, putting little bits of blue tack on the bottom just to hold it in place so it's not going to move so that's really stable now now there are a couple of things that you could probably do here too I've been told that you can spray this with some sort of spray and therefore it's easier to release I don't have any of that spray myself so now we're going to pour in Okay, so I was very lucky. I only just made it over the top of the letters. So that's 100 grams in there. I uh, probably should have done about 120, but I can't, I can just see a silhouette of the letters. So it should be fine. So I'm gonna come back in 24 hours, and then I'm gonna take the wood letters out. From there, I should be able to pour my soap base into it and have letters for soap. So I'll come back when that's done. So it's the next morning, and this is completely set now and I'm gonna unwrap it and see what we find. It's proving to be quite difficult because the letters that you can see there are actually stuck to the backboard but they're also stuck in the silicon. So I have to just peel it off slowly. This might take a minute. On second thought, what I should have done was put something shiny down in between here so I could just pull it out. All right, so I've got most of it. I've just got to get this R out. Okay, so everything's all right. I've just got to clean up this R with the knife and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so now it's all cleaned up and I've got all the little bits of uh, silicon off the top so I can see the letters properly and I can pour my soaps into this as well. If I had to do it again, I probably wouldn't use this particular container. I'd use something flat that could peel off because I found that paper attaches itself to the silicon, but you can see that bit there is actually this bit that came up and on the other side as well. So it probably wasn't the best thing to do this in, but still it's okay because it's uh, it's worked out all right. But if I was to do it again, I would probably do it a little bit differently. So I'm gonna melt down some soap and I'm gonna pour it into the mold, see how it looks when it's finished. So this is purple and it's unscented. I'm just gonna pour it in here and see how we go. Okay, so you might think, why have I filled it over the top? Because once it sets, I can actually get the knife again and then scrape it back off and I'll have a flush face to each of the letters. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so this is the second time that I've poured this. The first time, the L and the E's and things like that were breaking off. I think they're too fine for this type of work. But what I'm doing is cutting around them and it makes it nice and crisp. But they are very soft, so I could squeeze that together and probably break off. Okay, so here's my base. It's just clear and I've centered it with two mils of monkey farts. Okay, so here we go. Spray it with rubbing alcohol. Okay, now I've only added a small amount because I think because these cavities aren't really that high, by the time I put the letters in and put another base on it, it will probably be too thick. So I'm just put a little bit in there. Okay, so I've managed to get Iris's name inside the mold. I'm gonna cover this with clear, and then on the back of that, I'm gonna make it bright pink. So I'm just gonna spray this, these two, and then I'm gonna pour it in. Just 
spray it again. So now I'm going to use a little bit more. I'm going to melt down a little bit more and put some bright pink in there. Okay, so I've added some hot pink dye to this base. Just going to spray the back of these and I'm going to pour. Spray again, rubbing alcohol. So I just got to wait for them to set and then I can pop them out and show you. Okay, so Iris's soaps are ready and I'm about to pop them out. Oh wow, that looks really pretty. That looks really nice. So that's one and that's the other. That looks really good. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Thanks for watching.